Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Action Bros. On today's episode, we're taking a look at one of Screen Junkies' new honest trailers for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Now, personally myself, me, I found it to be one, not only technically one of the best video game kind of movies out there. Me, I consider it one of the best nerd movies out there, in a way. One, not only that, you're one of the best video game movies out there, but also, it was a fun flick, you know. It had a my, thing for everybody. Sorry, go ahead. It had every, um... I read the I read I originally read the books when I first heard the Wins production and how everybody was talking about it. so I read all of them. Before the movie final movie came out, I did read the final book, which mm -hmm. came around the same time and I enjoyed it. It was really fun. There's a lot of great references here and there, video game wise. Mm -hmm. You know, Scott in the beginning is kind of this like douchebag who doesn't have his life here, but to by until about the end of it where he finally learns, you know, we need to in order to become yeah. a better better person overall, which is you know, his relationship with Nice and his eventual, you know, relationship with Ramona. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I said you know, I had, I, had a... know, I really enjoyed the movie adaptation by, you know, me personally being that I was the, that one to, in the majority scene, the book was better. And for the most part, it, usually the majority of the time, majority of time, the book is always, is, is the, always better. The, the movie, I, overall, I did vastly enjoy the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely a repeat watch kind of thing. I can watch it and I really get tired of it. It's a really fun movie. I would definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out yet. Oh, yeah. But like I said, it's to me, it just it hit every type of genre when it came to you know nerds, geeks, uh, all those type of people. Pretty much, it hit. It literally hit every type of genre within one single movie. And they did they, they, the story even from the book. You know that they did. I can't even speak. They did the same thing where they pretty much just grabbed all the elements that makes you know this society this culture you know a lot of these people that are into this stuff and these combined it together where it's like we get all this this amazing freaking movie and these great action scenes these comedy type of stuff mm -hmm. that you, you love Edgar Wright helps that too yeah you know Edgar Wright just did an amazing job when yeah. he put, to put this together but so let's check it out let's check it out let's see what crazy shit's gonna they're gonna say in this trailer <laughs> so yeah, let's here we go okay fine but only because it's Valentine's Day and we love you. No, right? I think it is a Valentine's Day. <laughs> From the director, the Cornetto trilogy, and an unspecified amount of Ant Man <laughs> comes the best video game themed movie since The Wizard. I love the power glove. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so bad. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Get ready for the movie you couldn't wait to see, but didn't show up to support. In this cult classic full of so many awesome fight sequences. Yeah, I was doing that. And hilarious visual comedy. Yeah. You'll barely notice that every character in it is a horrible garbage person. Yeah. If life had a face, I would punch it. Yeah. Wait, Wait what? what? I mean, seriously, <laughs> these are all bad people. Except for Knives. I like knives. Meet the collection yeah. of late 2000s hipster cliches known as Scott Pilgrim. He's an unemployed musician who lives across the street from his parents, shops at Goodwill, is sexually ambiguous, and complains about everything. This is gonna suck. Literally everything. You know what really sucks though? What? Everything. When he meets a loose collection of quirks and hair dye known as Ramona Flowers. I change my hair every week and a half to get used to it. Scott will win her like a human sex trophy by killing people, <laughs> cheating on his girlfriend, and being such an all-round D-bag. I cheated on I cheated on both of you. His opposite is a really nice guy. I like him there. Well, let's do it next week. Yeah, he's, he's just a really nice guy. In <laughs> two hours of pure nerd wish fulfillment, yes. where a guy with no personality, the face of a toddler, and the body of a stretched out toddler hooks up with tons of girls. That time with Lisa? That was a misunderstanding. That time with Holly? That wasn't what it looked like. That time you dumped Kim? Okay, or... me and Kim are all good now. Kicks Captain America's ass, makes a lesbian orgasm to death, and plays DDR with underage Asian schoolgirls who are obsessed with him. Man, no wonder the internet loves this movie. Experience the definition of style over substance. But when Edgar Wright is doing the styling, who cares? Stare in awe as he mixes 8 bit animation with live action, crafts frame perfect recreations yeah, of yeah, the comic book, true. and hides Easter eggs that correspond to the number of every ex boyfriend, resulting in a movie that truly feels like a video game. 
that you're watching someone else play. So strap in for one part of Millennial's epic journey towards maturity that ends with him finally growing up and choosing the girl he should have been with all along. Nope. Wait a minute. Nope. They didn't use that ending? They reshot it so he ends up with Ramona? Why? Yeah. What was the point of it all then? Be jealous and violent and chase after a toxic relationship? Even when true love is staring you right in the face? Uh, I don't get young people. I don't get young people. Starring. Ready Player One, <laughs> Matt Pixel Dream Girl, Kong Foo Fighters, Phony Hawk Pro Skater, Vegan Vegeta, uh, her? <laughs> Get a Room, <laughs> Hipster Killgrave, Obligatory <laughs> Gay Best Friend, and Hashtag Not Your Asian Sidekick, Streetwiner 2, <laughs> Turbo! <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but the comic book is way better than the movie. Oh no, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Oh no, I'm that guy. No, okay, that was it. Banana Fofana Kablama. The man in black ran across the desert as the gunslinger followed. You're despicable. Prepare to feel the wrath of the League of Evil Exes. I use an epic voice to mask my insecurities. Reach out and touch someone. Okay. Okay, okay. he makes a lot of good points. Oh, yeah. That, that one, though, about the ending, though. I watched, I have the, of course, obviously, I had the movie on DVD. I read the, I heard the commentary. That was supposed to be the original ending. Back when they were writing the script for the, the thing is, back when they were writing the script for the movie, mm -hmm. the final book never came, hadn't come out. By that point. That's why they... Yeah, the final book never came out by that point, so they did an ending where, like he said, the smarter move where you wind up with knives instead. The person yeah, they, you really they changed, did love. They, they, they changed it the up. The person you really did love, pretty much. And when the final book did come out, they decided to go with the book's ending, where he does in the end wind up with Ramona. Ah, okay. That's why they did that. So me, either ending works, because... Either you know, which way. Either ending proves that you know, he's less of a douchebag now. Yeah, that's he all goes it is. from a complete douchebag to slightly less. Well, of like a they said, like now. he said, he does eventually as he's going through, he's growing up, and you know, in love, he's growing up. Pretty and, much. and we're all that guy who thought, <laughs> like I said, who thought the book was better, and I did. You yeah. know, and they showed, yeah, shot for they nailed it, shot for shot, a lot of the scenes, and that works. Like there was stuff I wish they uh, added. Yeah, like there's this really great like. Uh, chase slash fight scene with knives his dad, pretty much. Between then, it winds up going from between him and Scott's knives dad to the the lesbian evil ex. Oh, like oh, so that yeah. was like in between right there. Yeah, the, like originally, like that that dance club scene that never happened. Oh wow! That's a, in the original, he winds up taking her on in a, like a Ninja Gaiden style parody fight. Oh okay. And he winds up killing her there. Yeah. And by the end of the chapter, he go the the father goes, I approve of your choice. <laughs> you know, two knives. Yeah. There was that. There's actually there's actually a fight scene between Knives and Ramona in a library. Mm -hmm. That's where they first fight it out. Not near the end. Mm -hmm. Near the end, it's mainly just Ramona, uh, Scott's sister, Scott, and um, Gideon. But. Yeah, he's just been learned. So <laughs> it's been learned. What? So, but I'm not. Like I said, I'm not saying the movie's bad. If you want no, to it's not bad. Movie, it's it's good either movie, which way. But I, it, I, it, it's like they said. Just like they said in there, pretty much. It's just it didn't bring in you know a lot of mo money but, whatsoever. But I highly, I oh, I watched this in theater. I saw an advanced screen of it. And I still went to go see it in theaters with friends later. Yeah. But I would highly recommend if you haven't read the movie. If you read the movie, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the movie, movie starts with um, no. If you've read the book, if you haven't read the, no, if you watched the movie but haven't read the book yet, I would suggest reading the, the book. book first. The book, no, no, no. I'm not saying read the book first. Okay. I'm just saying read the book period. The book series period. It's really good. There's some stuff they go over. There's some, you'll see. There's stuff they alter. Stuff they 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 don't go over like. Like Stephen Stills' character, he turns out to be gay at the end of the book. Yeah, he turns out to be gay at the end of the book. They, like he starts a whole new band, Maya Scott, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like knives moves on. Everybody pretty much goes on their you know separate ways and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really good. I I really did enjoy it. It's definitely worth a read. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, you so, can, you can talk. Now. No, no, it's all right. No, it's mm -hmm. all right. Um, like. Like I said, I really, I really did. Not only in this video, but I also enjoyed the, the film. You know, I just like it. You know, in the video mainly, 
uh, how he's like, oh my god, I'm this guy. You know? <laughs> he's like, and that guy is legitimately from the book, too. Yeah, he's, his character is legitimately from the book. And um, But they, like I said, they do... Also, uh, play the video game. Video game's awesome. Oh, yeah, video game's freaking it's awesome. A, it's it's an old school nod to Final Fight. and so It's a game like Final Fight and River City Ransom. Yeah. So it's definitely worth a play. Like, get the entire DLC pack, because DLC pack adds more characters, yeah. online mode, things like that. So definitely check that out, but, too. Um, it has amazing music. Sorry to start again. It has amazing music. Well, the music's it. fantastic. And it has amazing the music. The soundtrack is amazing. It has amazing music. That's like the third time I said that. Fourth time now coming up. And it has amazing music from the chiptune band Anamana and it's really it's a really fun game. Check oh, that yeah. out, too, if you ever get a chance. Oh yeah, but like I said, and there's a lot more. Also, there's a lot more video game references in that one than in the movie. Oh yeah, like I said, um, go, go watch the movie. If you haven't play seen the, it, watch the movie, play the game, read the book. You know, however, yeah, if order you, have, you want it. If you have, if you've seen the movie, you haven't read the book, read the book. If you've done those two things, you haven't played the game, play the game. Like he said, um, but like I said, you know, just just play, read, watch, do all that. You know, you'll barely, you definitely really enjoy. You know, the series. I like the nod they did at the end when they start naming the characters. When he's like, Ready Player One. I'm like, ah, oh, that's a good one. I love that book, too. Yeah. Read that book, too. Um, okay, I, I don't want to sound all praising about it. But, of course, uh, a couple negative things I have to say is that I'm I'm not, like, I wasn't really, I'm not really big on the whole Michael Cera playing Scott. I wasn't really big on when they announced that. And I wasn't really but he big. did a good job, though. To oh, me, he, did he did a good job. job. I'm going to see you. I was. I'm still. I wasn't like really thrilled that when it was Michael Sarah. And like I said, uh, there were some key parts from the book. I wish they would have added into the movie itself. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, I'm tired and and I'm completely tired of hearing me talk about Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Go can, check it out. You can like, comment, share, subscribe. Is any of our last videos? Bam! Just check right there. See what we up to. Enjoy whatever previous reactions we've done in the past. So. Also, what was your favorite um, Scott Pilgrim book? There was like, I believe there were six. I may be wrong. There's six, seven books. Uh, my, I think my personal favorite is still the kind of the final book. Because mm -hmm. the final book is where like Scott really, you know, in the end finally kind of learns his lesson and becomes less of a douchebag. Yeah. And if you have any favorite characters, everybody's got their favorite specific character in, in the book. The movie, <coughs> movie and book wise, one of my favorite side characters is... um. His roommate. I forgot his roommate's name. I forgot his roommate's name, but I know the actor though. Um, and it's uh, Macaulay Culkin's brother. Or it's Rory Culkin. I know. Yeah. I know the actor. I forgot what his name was, but I know what you're talking about. He's one of my favorites too. Oh, wow, Wallace Wells. Yes, Wallace Wells. Wallace. Yeah, yes. he's one of my favorite side characters. So, yeah. but for now, I'm Fox. I'm Bruce, and it's been a very awesome episode of SR.